This is the first in a series of short videos about fundamental gun handling skills and the problems that we often see when people exercise those skills. So in this case, first off, we're going to talk about the draw. In general, you'd think a draw wouldn't be very difficult. We take the gun out of the holster, we point it at the target, we work the trigger, and that's it. The problem is there are some efficient ways to do this, and there are unfortunately lots of inefficient ways to do this. The two basic problems we often see on the draw are fishing draws and bowling draws. Fishing draws look like this. We take the gun out of the holster, we draw, it goes over the target, comes back down and onto the target. That's a standard fishing draw. And you see the problem with that, of course, is we're hooking over, we're pointing way over the target all the time, and only coming down on the target clear at the end. The second most common type of incorrect draw that we see is a bowling draw. And bowling draws are actually most common with holsters that are behind the body line. Any holster, whether it's inside the waistband or outside the waistband that's behind that body center line, particularly ones that are canted, tend to lend themselves to bowling draws, and bowling draws look like this. The gun comes out. As it comes out, people angle their bodies away, and the gun bowls its way to the target. And we can see in that, as it goes, just like the fishing draw, the gun itself is only on target completely at the end of the draw and not before. The fix for both these problems is exactly the same, and it simply means once you have the gun clear of the holster, you flip your wrist up so that the gun is pointing directly towards the target. It doesn't matter where the gun happens to start from, the minute it clears the holster, you snap your wrist and drive the gun to the target. So we take the gun, the minute it clears the holster, we snap it towards the target, after which you complete the draw the way you normally would. If you have a four count draw, it comes out, there's the second position, third position, fourth position. If you have a draw that normally comes up and you do a press out, same thing happens. The minute it clears the holster, it comes up here high and presses out. If we normally come here and drive straight to the target, it doesn't change anything. The minute it clears the holster, it snaps towards the target and then drives out. And in every case, if we're actually pointing at the target, you can see from the side, the minute it comes out, it's pointed at the target, and it stays pointing at the target the entire time. One of the things that allows us to do here is it gets the sights between the lines of my eye and the target much more quickly. In addition, it means the gun isn't pointing at anything else through more of the draw. The exact same thing is true if we draw from an appendix carry holster. Again, once we get our grip on the gun, the minute it clears the holster, we drive our wrist so that it's pointing directly at the target. Here, it's out, we get our second hand on it, and can immediately extend towards the target. Nothing has changed. And so we take the gun, snap it so it's pointed at the target immediately, get the second hand on it, and then extend it out. Looking at it from the side, we see exactly the same thing. The minute it clears the holster, it's pointed at the target, and then it extends out as it stays pointed at the target. Even if you have a holster behind the hip and canted significantly, for example, just like this one does, you can still do the same type of draw. So we have something like this. Again, we get the grip on the gun. The minute the gun clears the holster, we snap it forward, point it towards the target. Even if you are used to a retention position of some sort, again, this sort of thing ends up in the retention position quite easily if you, don't, if you aren't used to the retention position, then you simply snap it upward from here. But if you are, it snaps and then drives forward. None of that changes. And so if you do it this way, no matter what type of holster you have, you won't do a bowling draw, you won't do a fishing draw. And from the minute the gun clears the holster, it will be pointed at the target, and it will stay that way through the entirety of the draw. You won't be drawing like this. You won't be drawing like this. And the gun will get on target much more quickly.